Bloody Influencers is an honest and comically tragic, it says here, one woman comedy with a dark twist about the world of influencers and influenza. It's a story performed by Ina Begowicz, directed by Sophia Zaragoza and written by Ben Mansbridge. I'm delighted to say that both Ina and Ben join me now live in the studio. Thanks for coming in. Hello, thanks for having us. Hello, thank you. So, first of all, Ina, tell us about how the origin of Bloody Influences. How did it come about? Uh, so I was doing my master's in acting and uh, uh, we had to do one woman show for the end. And I only had like 30 minutes, but then I developed it into 55 minutes show. It was really kind of a random thing that happened during these workshops. I was just exploring different stories and I somehow picked the paper that said make the story about social media and then I had to turn it into something that was more familiar to me uh, which was you know Instagram and all that that we are uh, kind of obsessing about on social media and I wanted to tell that story um, and that's how I built a character and everything started from there. So you started to build a story you came up with the character first and then started thinking about um, so yeah, 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 yeah. So I had a story, um, kind of uh, about the influencer who is on a journey of kind of trying something, trying to find something truthful in the life that is fake. That everything around her is fake, but she wants to find something that's actually truthful. That it's not uh, forceful and uh, that is not. Um, that's more honest. So in that journey, she faces many different problems because um, she was living the life that's perfect and trying to look perfect, but actually now she faces the truth. So I wanted to uh, share that story and um, that's how kind of I started. And sitting next to you is the writer Ben Mansbridge. Mm -hmm. How did you two get involved and how did that relationship work when you were putting the show together? <laughs> so um, <laughs> we'd been seeing each other for <laughs> what? A we don't need to mention that. A couple of months. <laughs> um, if there's anything you want to tell us about. <laughs> <laughs> think, think of it as therapy. Yeah, this, only this is actually an intervention. Uh, this isn't a show at all. Uh, we've been uh, seeing each other a couple of months. Um, and uh edda's as she said her finals for her masters were coming up and she wanted to really workshop this idea um i am a screenwriter mostly uh, i'd never worked on a theatrical project before so it was really interesting to kind of explore that kind of area of the industry um so she pitched me this idea and uh really really just fell in love with it uh, i love the idea of this kind of uh, these extreme obscenities that we see on uh, instagram you know we're seeing all the high life we're seeing oh, all these beautiful figures but we're not seeing what's behind the camera and being able to show that on stage just really appealed to me and we were able to have a lot of fun with it okay and how difficult was it or easy for you to translate what was going on in your mind into ideas that Ben could write? How did that work? Um, so I would say it was quite easy yeah. um, because Ben was uh, really willing to kind of follow my ideas and mainly help me word this. <laughs> uh, I'm Croatian actress and I did write some drafts, but I just uh, thought that Ben really has a sense for comedy. And I wanted to tell this story, even though it has some dark uh, side to it and a bit more serious themes like mental health, of that uh, you know impact of social media on mental health. But I wanted to tell this story in a humorous way. So that's why yeah. I, I asked Ben to help me with that. And uh, it's been actually quite smooth. Uh, maybe I was sometimes too strict when I was like, I didn't like something, and then I was like, no, this is not going. <laughs> like that. Yeah, there were a few jokes that uh, were deemed inappropriate, but <laughs> 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 so I, I was able to ricochet off the walls, and then it was able to kind of bring me back down to earth a little bit. So it evens out really, really nicely. Having now uh, put the show together, you're, you're bringing it to Brighton Fringe. You're bringing it, it to Sweet, Sweet Poets. Tell us, tell us about the venue and how we can find it. Tell us more about that. Uh, so the Sweets venue is actually above the pub of... What's the pub called again? 
Uh, I can tell you the postcode began 3 5 p.m. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. Um, yes, it's just above the Poets Ale and Smokehouse, which is this really, really nice um, traditional British pub. Um, so you can, you know, grab a drink just beforehand. Um, it's centered in Hove, so it's really, really nice and local if you're in that area. Um, it's a quick trip on the bus if you're even in the center. So location wise it was a dream come true it really really was yes indeed uh even though it was my second time visiting brighton i it was quite easy to find you can just jump on a bus um in 15 minutes you are there from central uh brighton um you can even have a walk uh that would be maybe like 40 minutes 35 minutes walk if it's nice day why not um so yeah it's it's really nice place where you can first grab a drink or have a meal and then upstairs is a lovely theater highly recommend the fish and chips <laughs> <laughs> that's a great that's a great plug for the venue okay <laughs> <laughs> they appreciate that well, why not that's all great I'm, I'm just thinking about and listening to about the show um I mean, I'm on Instagram. Who isn't on Instagram? But there may be people out there who've never done social media. Mm. If they come to the show, what will these strange people who've never been on social media, what will they take from it, do you think? I think that there's still a lot of humour to be had, even if you're outside of, you know, the realms of social media. My parents are as alien to social media as you will find and uh during our run over at the baron's court theater in london they absolutely loved it yeah. uh they even brought their friends along on the final night and even they loved it and they're as bad as uh, my parents are so uh there's still a lot of humor to be had yes there are a couple of inside jokes that are maybe geared towards the younger generation but there is something for everybody to be had. Yeah, and the, the I would say the character is well-rounded. That's mm. what I worked on. And it is... Uh, Daisy uh, is someone that we can relate to in terms of her own internal struggles and uh, mental health. Um, so I would say because the character um, is on a journey, it's something to still enjoy, whether you are using social media or not. I try to make her as human as uh, possible and um but for people who even if you're not that much on social media i wanted to in a way uh have a look how do we perceive this person a little bit differently who seems perfect on social media but to actually really get to know this kind of uh, yeah person. It, it's if you're a fan of the old kind of british comedies like blackadder and faulty towers it's that kind of wackiness to it that uh, kind of nicely draws into a dramatic finale. And I guess human behaviour is human behaviour, so it's yep. always going to find it funny, and or, as you say, there is also a serious side to it. So either having put the show together, performing the show, do you want to be Instagram famous? <laughs> <laughs> I love the question. Um, no. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> um, well, in a way, like, Part of me that's that I would love to do it for the character, but as a Daisy, but I wouldn't like to do it as me, Anna Begovic. Okay, and what would you say to anybody who does want to be Instagram famous? Uh, take care of yourself and mm. um, yeah, try to kind of balance that uh, online life with your own personal life. Is the online life and real life, is there any division anymore or are the two? so inextricably linked now that online and re there's no such thing as real life and online they're both the same would you say that um yeah in a way they are so interlinked that i would say that they are you know that they live <laughs> it is kind of one um thing uh but in a way sometimes it can be very separated it depends how you use social media yeah it's still a very it's still a relatively new thing social media so as we you know progress with it and learn more and more about uh, its effects on us as human beings in our states um I, th I think we can't help but break those barriers down okay one more time people are going to come along and, and find out more about this but also be entertained so one more time before <laughs> i let you go let people let people know where it is when it is and what they should do to get tickets and all i'll give them the nuts and bolts okay so come on 22nd and 23rd of may at 6 p.m over at the sweets 
uh, Theatre at the Poets, uh, just above the Poets Ale and Smokehouse at 33 Montgomery Street, Hove, BN3 5BF. You can also have a look at uh, Brighton Fringe website and just search for Bloody Influencers and we'll be there. Perfectly done. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you Thank for having you. us.